Hey guys, it's Mateen here from AffEngineer.com. Again, in this tutorial video I'll be going through just an overview of the Power Editor and how I use it to create my ads. Now, in the past I used to use just your simple ads manager which you can find in the left hand, left side column on your Facebook page, on your Facebook profile page. Um, but since I've been doing more Facebook, I've eventually learned that you should be using Power Editor as it gives you more options and more customizability and it really does help it gives you way different results if you know how to use this a lot more than the other one but uh, simply what you do is I'm not going to go through what a, how, to, how this setup is campaigns ad sets and ads uh, basically Facebook have set up their platform their advertising platform now in a way where you can split test different variables and split testing is a big part of affiliate marketing uh, for but for Teespring I usually don't uh, split test anything apart from just the design and maybe a couple of maybe different interests maybe maybe like one in maybe 30 campaigns I might try different interests but for the most part all I do is just open up my power editor um, which you can search for on Google or you can find on the left side of uh, your Facebook profile page and then you click create ad create new Let's just say I love dogs. That's the campaign name. Um, now, Facebook allows you to choose an objective. Based on the objective, Facebook will advertise your campaign in a way where it'll optimize for you uh, on what you've selected here. So, I've played around with website conversions and paste page paste the page post engagement and I've found that this works the best page post engagement you want Facebook to optimize the viability of your newsfeed ad your newsfeed ad but you also want it to track the conversions that you're getting <coughs> um, you want it to track the conversions you're making and track where it's coming from whether it's a male or a female that's purchasing your, your shirt or which age group it's coming from so that you can fine-tune that ad campaign right so what I normally do is I select page post engagement and I'll just copy this for the ad set name and then the ad name as well let's just call it the same thing so create and there you go there's my ad the the bare basics of my ad right so now under the campaign you'll find I've got my ad for I Love Dogs where you can just set the campaign name. This just gives you an overview of the actual ad. Most of your tweaking comes from this uh, tab here. This is where you actually go through um, your actual Facebook page selection. So let's just select Fun Times, which is the one that we made. Um, so that's the Facebook page I'll be advertising from. You always have to have a Facebook page connected to your ad, to your ad, no matter what. Um, I don't. I never do right hand side uh, advertising. I just do newsfeed. So let's just leave this and this these two options as they are. Then we create a pixel. So this is the pixel you go choose pixel for checkouts this is how you track your conversions right so let's just call this conversion pixel I love dogs again create pixel I can add this myself you copy this onto a notepad well that's a lot bigger than I want it to be uh, font, fonts just go 10 alright that's too small fonts 14 Okay, so what we're looking for is this here, and this that number there is your tracking ID number, and that's what you paste into your Teespring campaign, and Teespring will start, or Facebook rather, will start to track conversions for you, right? So once that's done, you just press close. Um, once you paste it there, this will change to verif verified. That means that it's tracking properly and then you go to audience this is where you actually set up your interests now, I'm not going to go through uh, choosing interests right now but um, I will later on when I'm going through that as a, in, a, in a specific tutorial video but um, 
just for um, just for now, we'll we'll just write down an interest. We'll just say okay, we we'll want um let's just say German shepherds. So German shepherds, right? Why is it not populating German shepherd? German shepherd dogs. Anyway, these are really broad interests. I wouldn't go with these two. Just saying. But just for example purposes, I'll put them in, and then you, I'll leave behaviors the same, categories. I don't re really play around with that much unless um, it's f I need to. Um, that's that done. Maybe we'll choose men. I usually go over twenty or over twenty-five, depending on how I'm feeling. Or oh, I'm sorry, like what the actual Teespring campaign is, and let's just keep it under fifty. I found with my tests m most people buy between 25 and 50 and then let's just go United States anyway so what I'm doing here is just showing you guys how I go about making my ads these are really random options I'm putting into these uh, text bars um, obviously it changes from place to place and then choosing the way I price my campaigns, I'll just click this button here, optimize CPM, done, leave this as it is, so use default bids, um, and for ad sets, leave this the same. What I normally do, maybe it's just the way that my uh, my Teespring, uh, sorry, my Facebook advertising campaign or platform is set up is, I'll look at, see, notice how my time is American Los Angeles time, so if I were to go to PSD time, it's running off. It, it runs off this time here, so I go. A lot of the times, I've found people, and I've already had um have had issues with the the ad saying status is scheduled, but not going ahead at all at the scheduled time. So to fix that, I just select a time that's half an hour or an hour past this current time so I'll go 4.30 p.m. 31st July so 31st July 4 we'll leave it 4.53 p.m. it's fine and then that's what I'll leave my time at so that means my ad will start an hour after now approximately um, yeah and that's it and then now I'll just click there's one thing I haven't done I'll do in the next video which is uh, to make the actual ad that that um, appears over here and will actually be displayed to uh, your demographic I'll do that in the next video but for now this is just an overview of how I go about using Power Editor to make my ad that's the last bit that needs to be done for making your ad so I'll uh, get onto it in the next video.